<laughs> what's bracken? What's cracking? What's happening? YouTube is that boy Joe from that y'all with another video. I know y'all see the background a little different, you know what I'm saying? Everything a little different, but don't worry about it. I'm still gonna push that content out for y'all, bro. No matter what the filming the situation is, the environment is, I'm gonna push this content out. You feel me? But today. Today, 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 I have a very different video, you feel me? We are going to be discussing why I cut my hair, bro. Why I cut my hair. Now, as y'all know, I had locks, you feel me? I had dreadlocks before, you know what I'm saying? I cut them bitches. I also wanted to give y'all an idea of like how long it really took, bro. You feel me? I was super patient, bro. It took me like three years to grow out my hair, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? This was really a process. Feel me, life is a process at the end of the day, bro. So whatever you want in this life, bro, you have to wait and just be patient for it. You feel me? Just work, do what you have to do, and be patient, bro. That's all you can really do. I don't regret nothing, bro. I don't regret nothing. I honestly feel like, bro, this is a good look. You know what I'm saying? Got a cut the other day, you feel me? I look a lot, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm here to show y'all what it took for me to get to that point. Honestly, bro, it's all up to you, bro. You feel me? This title look like clickbait. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that bitch is clickbait, you feel me? But honestly, it's all preference, you feel me? I know in this day and age, bro, it's 2022, bro. Every nigga in this world got dreadlocks, bro. Every nigga with kinky slash curly hair, bro, got dreads, bro. For some reason, you know what I'm saying? That shit has become a trend. That shit has become a TikTok trend. That shit has become, like, I don't know, bro. Bro, even my homeboys, bro, like, you feel me? Like, bro, when I cut my hair, like, they was... They was more heartbroken than me. Bro, I'm telling y'all, when I cut these, it wasn't an easy decision, you feel me? Uh, but I said, fuck it. Like, it was really, it was really a last, like, a last second thought, bro. It was really an intrusive thought, bro. I really wasn't thinking about it, feel me, long term. But I was like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's hair, bro. A lot of y'all niggas don't understand, bro. This is just hair, bro. It grows back. But I'm talking about some bro, I'm begging you, please sew them back in. I'm like... Bro, are you good, bro? But before the video starts, bro, I'ma need y'all to smash that like button, as usual. I'ma need y'all to hit that subscribe button, as usual. I'ma need y'all to click that notification bell next to the subscribe button. Y'all see the amount of people that aren't subscribed, bro? Y'all see it. Y'all see it right here. And just for the hell of it, bro, if this video can get 50 likes bro i will show these bitches back in my head just cuz bro y'all have it bro y'all have it on video i can't cap i can't cap now bro you feel me y'all got y'all heard it y'all heard it firsthand bro but without further ado let's get straight into the video bro all right let's go to my gallery right here you know what i'm saying okay so boom right I kid y'all not, bro. This is where I started in my hair journey, fam. So this is my sophomore year of high school, right? My father is probably the most greenest nigga you'll ever meet in your life, bro. Bro, this man got mad at me just because I was growing my high top uh, fade out at the time, you feel me? And my shit was mad nappy, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I wasn't quote unquote taking care of it. And he didn't like it. Bro, this man skimped my head. Bald, bro. <laughs> Bald. It was so terrible, bro. Like, messed up my hairline and all, oh, fam. At that moment, bro, I had told myself, my father is never touching my head again, bro. I don't care if I have to go four or five months without a haircut. But, yeah, I went bald December 2nd, I believe, bro. I will never forget that date. December 2nd, 2018, bro. It was terrible. Bro, y'all can see, bro. Look. Bro, I didn't even have a hairline, bro. Bro, I didn't even have a hairline, bro. Like, this is so... Yo. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. When this man cut my hair, bro, this man did me so dirty. Like, i never forget that. Woo! Bro, do y'all see that, bro? Bro, my shit look like the Hollister logo, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really exposing myself right now, bro. This, this is terrible. But yeah, bro, y'all see, bro. Y'all see, you feel me? Like, bro, I started from a... Zero. A zero. It took me three years to grow out my hair fully. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bro, it's all about patience. So if you're gonna lack patience, if you know you're not a patient person, if you don't see the process, if you don't trust the process, you really shouldn't even get locks in the first place, bro. It's a process, bro. It's literally a process, bro. You're not gonna grow overnight. Your hair's not gonna grow overnight, bro. It's not, bro. So all them YouTube tutorials, how to get one inch, you know what I'm saying, in, in a week, that's not likely, bro. You have to understand that, bro. Growing locks, growing hair, period, is a process. Growing in general is a process, bro. It took me 
three years. I was growing my hair out. I'm not talking about my luck journey. I was growing my hair out for almost three years, bro. Patience is key. At the end of the day, y'all have to learn. Y'all have to go through the ugly phases, bro. I know y'all be looking at them little beat beats in y'all head, bro, and y'all be wanting to comb it out. Y'all be wanting to chop it to the back to that buzz cut. Y'all are not embracing the quote unquote ugly phases of your hair journey, bro. All right, but this a few months later, you feel me? I'm growing my blowout at this point, you know what I'm saying? It's about it's about this length, I think. A little bit longer, maybe. But y'all see, bro. Like, it's about this length where I'm at right now. That's about three, four months later. You feel me? And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Don't mind that picture. But yeah, bro. Y'all see, you know what I'm saying? Through the, you feel me? Couple months, I'm growing out my blowout or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking. Ooh! But yeah, I'm growing out the blowout at this point. You feel me? And it's like, but at this point, I didn't even think about getting dreads. You know what I'm saying? I knew my hair was growing and stuff like that. You feel me? I didn't really take pictures back then. That's one thing. If you're going to uh, grow your hair out, bro, I suggest y'all take a lot of pictures, bro. Take a lot of pictures. Take a lot of videos just to track y'all progress if you're going to do that. I really wasn't thinking about um, getting dreads at this point. I wanted to low-key grow my hair out and get protective styles. I mean, two strand twists, braids, and all that stuff. That's what I think I'm about to do right now, honestly, bro. That's kind of what I want to do right now. But yeah, I didn't even start with starter locks. I kind of just, you feel me, let my hair do its thing, really. Bro, y'all see the little beta beads, bro? This is like my first time I did uh, two strand twists. Bro, look how small these junks is, bro. Look at my face, bro. But yeah, bro, I had two strand twisted them, but I had took them junks like right out the next day, you feel me? I was just bored. But my hair was getting to that length where I could like kind of twist it. But yeah, bro, I used to love this blowout, bro. I, I used to love the blowout. That bitch was crazy, you feel me? I'm such a cool guy. Look at me. Look at me, bro. Look at my hair, man. Look at me, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at me, man. But yeah, y'all can see my hair was getting, you know what I'm saying, a little longer at this point. That's my little birthday picture. Shout out to my boy Hunter and all that. But yeah. But y'all see, bro, like I had just grew up my, uh, I had just grew up my blowout for like about a year. Please don't fry me, bro. All right, bro. So this was during quarantine, bro. So when quarantine hit, y'all remember, bro. Quarantine hit, bro. I did not give a damn about getting no protective styles because nothing was open. No barbershops were open. Feel me? So that's when I realized, like, I'm probably just going to start freeforming. You feel me? And, bro, I did not have a haircut for months, bro. This is this got to be illegal to look this dusty, bro. I've never looked so dusty ever in my life before, bro. This is, this is crazy. But yeah, as y'all can see, bro, like from the video, you know what I'm saying? My junk is just mad at bro. Like, I'm free forming at this point, you feel me? I'm making sure, you know what I'm saying? My shit's moisturized and all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, I look crazy, fam. Look at my head, bro. Like, my eyebrows ain't shaped, bro. Like, you feel me? The COVID mask and everything, bro. Like, that was a that was a terrible time, bro. Bro, I know y'all remember when y'all got that car that barbershops was gonna be open. Ooh! You know what I'm saying? Just a little something, you know what I'm saying? I'm just locking on its own just a little bit, you feel me? But at this point, I didn't really have any locks in my head yet. It wasn't really locked, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't really locked at this point, but it's just getting to that stage, bro, because I think I have, like, four. My hair type is 4C, I believe. But I got them naps, you know what I'm saying? I got them naps, so my shit locks very, 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 very fast, bro. You feel me? This is my first haircut, you know what I'm saying? They got, like, a little, a little, a little fresh, you feel me? Yeah, the mom kicking it, vibing. That first haircut after quarantine was everything bro this is just bringing back memories so yeah i realized at this point bro like the free forms are gonna take a little longer so i stopped free forming right and i picked up a sponge and i picked up a t-shirt at this point bro because i realized at this point you feel me it's gonna take forever for these junks to lock bro like if you use a sponge you're not technically free forming you're kind of just sponge rubbing you feel me and on top of that i was uh towel drying my hair but with a t-shirt you feel me so like the same way you would use a sponge you feel me to sponge up your head bro i was drying my hair with a t-shirt like with the same circular motion you know what i'm saying just for my hair to lock yeah as y'all can see bro i was using a sponge for a little minute you know what i'm saying like after a month i started seeing more progress just on like the formation of my locks bro because i had a lot y'all I had a lot of locks, bro. I was, bro, I was vibing with this, like, this phase, bro, because it's, like, it's not an ugly phase because I didn't really start traditionally. And at the same time, it's not, uh, like, the beauty stage. It's kind of just, like, the in-between, you know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, bro, y'all see, bro, like, my, my shit is not, it's not completely locked at the root yet, but it's getting there, like, fast, bro. 
Like, it was getting there fast. Like, my hair lost pretty fast, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a sexy guy, bro. Y'all see, like, bro, hold on, bro. I think y'all need to see that again, bro. Like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so beautiful, bro. Like, look, look how beautiful I am. But yeah, bro, this is when, like, my hair started to mature a lot more, bro. This was back in July of 2020, bro. Bro, my hair was starting to get a lot more, you feel me, mature. And, like, I was going outside. The tips of my hair were, like, pretty sun bleached. All right, y'all can even see it right here. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but y'all can see, like, my hair is not completely black like how it is at the root, you feel me? It's like more brown, you know what I'm saying, at the tips. But like, yeah, I was getting, I was getting a lot of sun, bro. I was getting a lot of sun because I was inside, bro. So I was just going outside, bro. And then, and I never dyed my dreads like ever. You feel me? I never even thought about doing that, bro. Cause that's just not my speed. I don't know. But yeah, I didn't really need any special method for real to like get my hair like that. You know what I'm saying? If you have like 4C hair like me, you know what I'm saying? Your, your locks are gonna come in like pretty fast, bro. Your, your, your junk is gonna lock up quick. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I was doing regular stuff at that point. I was seeing a lot of people on YouTube saying not to moisturize your hair, not to wet your hair or it's gonna unravel and things like that. But my hair texture is so like coily and it's so coarse. So it's like, I don't even need to like not wet my hair, keep my hair dry. Cause first of all, like I have a sensitive scalp and I need moisturization, bro. Like if my scalp is dry, it's a problem. So I was just doing regular stuff. Like you feel me? When I was in the shower, it would get wet. You know what I'm saying? I was putting oil. I was using, I think I was using Cantu, bro. Don't ever use Cantu, y'all boys. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's, Cantu's crazy. But yeah, bro, I started feeling myself. My shit started to shake. You know what I'm saying, bro? When you get to that point, bro, when your shit don't start to shake, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you start feeling yourself OD, bro. You feel me? I was just taking a lot of pictures at that point because I knew, like, feel me? My shit was gonna get longer and longer and longer. But yeah, bro, this is where I was really messing with my hair at this point, bro, because it started to get long, starting to stick, and it's starting to shake, bro. Yeah, I remember I used to just twist on the front of my head, bro, and I used to let this one dread just hang, bro. And, and I had one back here, too, bro. I used to just twist on it all day, you know what I'm saying? And my shit was getting long, bro, for real. It started maturing pretty quick. I like, bro, this was a good time, you feel me? This was a good time for my hair, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And another thing, I was very consistent on the sponge rubbing and the towel rubbing, bro. Like, y'all gotta do this every single day, bro. Like, but yeah, my routine was I would wake up in the morning, you feel me? Wet my hair just a little bit and then sponge it, feel me? Put my oils and products and whatnot in it. Regular stuff, you feel me? Then, whenever I would take a shower, my hair would get wet. So I would take a towel, like a big towel, and then just... You feel me? Just dry my hair the same way I was sponging. You know what I'm saying? And I used to do that every time I got out the shower. And as soon as I was done drying my hair, bro, I would go on with the sponge as well. I would put like a little product in it and then go on with the sponge. So it helped me like lock up fast, bro. I'm telling y'all. If y'all want semi free forms, I highly recommend sponge rubbing or towel rubbing. Or you can do both like I did. Yeah, bro. I started feeling myself, bro. Like my shit was getting like, yeah. And at this point I'm washing my hair and it's dropping, you know what I'm saying? I'm really feeling myself at this point. My shit is getting long, bro. Y'all see the growth right here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, y'all see the growth, bro. Y'all see that, that one dread sticking up in the back, bro. Like, bro, I used to love this look, y'all. Oh my god, I'm getting memories. And I was just playing around with it at this point, you feel me? Like putting it in styles and whatnot, you feel me? Just a little, just a little song, you feel me? I ain't finna leave the house like that. But yeah, I was just putting them in buns, you feel me? Flicking up like that. Regular stuff. I'm such a cute guy, bro. Like, am I not am I not the most beautiful man you've ever seen in your life, bro? Look at me, man. This right here is where my hair was at its peak, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it, it, it couldn't get better than that. But I really consider myself a dreadhead at this point. You see my shit hanging from the front of my face? Oh, yes. Bro, I was just taking mad videos. So right here is when I realized, bro, like, I wanted to retwist, you feel me? Like, I wanted my shit to hang for real. Like, my shit was started to hang just a little bit, but, like, it was shaking, but it was hanging, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't vibing with the retwist really because, bro, like my parts were so small. You feel me? I had a lot of hair, bro. I had a lot of locks. So the girl who did it, I really didn't like how she, you feel me, twisted to my scalp. Like for those of y'all that didn't know, y'all can have small locks, but if your parts are small, bro, especially if they're smaller than the lock itself, you're more likely to go bald. You feel me? Your shit might fall out. You see them TikToks and niggas like they they hair falling out and all that, bro. Like I was not trying to be like that. 
at all. But yeah, this is the last video I took of me, bro. This was the last video I took of me before I got a retwist, you feel me? Like, my first retwist, well, it's not really it's not really a retwist, you feel me? If I, It's my first twist. It's not really a retwist, though, because I never got it twisted for real, so it's like a twist. My first twist. Then everything after that is a retwist, I guess. But yeah, bro, this was the aftermath of me having that retwist, bro. My shit was fire, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My shit was fire, bro. Like, it was getting there, you know what I'm saying? I got the headband on, bro. You know what I'm saying? My shit was... Only thing I wasn't fucking with is how small the parts were, bro. Y'all see? That was the only thing I didn't like, bro. Like, my parts were super small, bro. So it's like... I didn't even want to risk going bald, bro, because you feel me? I got a big ass forehead already, bro. That's that's one thing I already got to deal with, bro. So balding was not an option for real. You see right here, y'all can see my scalp for real, bro. Y'all can't really see any parts for real. Y'all can see the lock. My root is not as thick as the ends for real, bro. And y'all, bro, that's one thing y'all got to watch out for, bro. If y'all have lots, make sure y'all parts are healthy, bro. But yeah, bro, it's regular stuff. You feel me? That's me without no tape. You know what I'm saying? Don't mind it. And this is when I got my first twist right here. You feel me? So I had went to my, uh, to my lot lady and I told her, like, you feel me? I didn't like the fact that my parts are so small. I had washed out the, uh, the twist after, like, two weeks. And I told her, I'm like, bro, I do not want small parts. I really didn't know how it was going to look, but I just said, fuck it, bro. Because I just want bigger parts. You feel me? Healthier parts. This lady combined my hair, bro, but she didn't do the ends, bro, because, you feel me, it was getting late, so she told me to come back the next week, you feel me, so, like, I had to look like this for a whole week, bro, but I had hit that so good, bro, I had wore, you feel me, my little hat, whatever, you know what I'm saying, just to cover it up, but this was the finished product, you feel me, um... Bro, my shit was mad thick. I ain't gonna lie. I did not like these at first, bro. Bro, y'all have to be patient, y'all. Y'all have to be patient, bro. Your shit is not going to grow overnight. Y'all shit is not going to be long overnight, bro. I knew they was gonna get longer, so I was just like, you know what? Let me just, you feel me? Let me just vibe with it. And my hair kept sticking up, bro. I just remember, like, the front of my head would not lay down for anything, bro. Like, that junk was annoying, bro. I ain't gonna lie bro i ain't gonna lie this was pretty hard though this was pretty hard bro you feel me like but the short dread look bro these thick was kind of hard i ain't gonna lie looking back at it you feel me like it was kind of hard bro like it was hard because i know like it's not a lot of people whose dreads are that thick i really didn't have that many bro compared to a lot of other people bro a lot of people like small shit bro like i was not trying to be like everybody else so i was like i might as well combine them you feel me i literally had 64 dreads in my head bro i had counted them bro to this day, bro, it's 64 in here, bro. My shit is just locking up, doing this thing, bro. I'm using rose water, I'm using oil, and I'm using water at that point, bro. I was not using a lot of products, you feel me? Yeah, I was treating my hair, like, pretty good at this point. But, yeah, you see Angel in the cut. Look at Angel, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at my Angel, man. Look at my Angel in this shit, man. You feel me? I know my hair is starting to grow. Like, I'm starting to see a little bit more growth, you feel me? Um, it's starting to mature, you feel me? At this point, it's locked. Once they got wet, bro, like, once I went to the pool and they got wet and I realized they not coming out, then I knew I was committed, bro. Like, it's no going back unless I cut these, these motherfuckers out. Y'all see what's going on, bro. Just regular stuff, you feel me? It was just short and thick for real. Pause. All right, y'all, so this is when I got my third retwist, bro. This was my third retwist. This was when my hair was getting a little longer, bro. I was really starting to vibe with it. Look how thick my hair is, bro. Like, this is how thick my hair is, bro. She twisted this dread, bro. She combined three different ones all to each other. Like, she used to twist it, and it used to just unravel. That's how thick my hair was, bro. I used to hate that, bro. But, yeah, this after I got a cut, you know what I'm saying? I was really feeling my... We man, I was feeling myself, man. I was such a handsome young man. Once they started hanging in front of my forehead, for real. Once they started dropping, I was vibing with them tough, for real, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, just some more pictures just to give y'all an idea of what the length was looking like at this point, you know what I'm saying, in my journey or whatever. I got these barrel twists right before I went to Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh, bro. I love this style bro because once i figured out how long my hair was once my lot lady told me my hair was long enough to get a style i was geek 
boy. I ain't even gonna lie, fam. Like, you see, I had to got that fresh cut at the airport, but I was ready for takeoff, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's me in Puerto Rico, just living it up. You know what I'm saying? This how, you feel me, my hair was looking at that point. You know what I'm saying? Them barrel twists was so hard, bro. But yeah, bro. Y'all see when I took them out, bro, you can see, like, I had irritated scalp, bro. Like, my scalp had mad irritation. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. But yeah, one thing I really learned about myself when I got locks, bro, was I have sensitive skin, bro. Like, my scalp be sensitive to anything. I ain't gonna lie. So I really gotta watch what I put in my hair. And another thing, if you're going to a loctician or anybody that does locks, you feel me, does retwist, bro, let them know if it's too tight, bro. I used to, like, kind of just sit back and just vibe with it. But like, if it's too tight and it's bothering you, bro, let them know, you feel me? Just so they can, you feel me, do their job correctly. And this was me after I got a haircut, you feel me, from my graduation when I graduated high school or whatever, bro. Man, time, bro, time be flying, bro. Time be flying, bro. I, bro, this is crazy just looking at this stuff, bro. Just bringing back a whole lot of memories. This was right after a lot of detox, I believe. You know, the baking soda with the lime and all that stuff, you feel me? All that good stuff. I had to do the detox. I didn't do that a lot. I only did it like, I think like every four months, you feel me? Only because like I started going to the gym and I started sweating a lot, bro. So you feel me? If you sweating a lot, bro, it can cause a lot of buildup too, you feel me? So that's when the detox comes in handy, bro. You don't want to detox all the time, you feel me? Or like every so often. You know? Look at all the guys, man. Look at all the guys, man. Aww. And my main style, bro, my go-to style, bro, this right here. This right here, boy. That Shikumaru, bro, that, yo, I used to love putting my hair up, bro. Once my hair dropped in front of my face, y'all, I hated that shit. Niggas be liking that shit, be thinking that shit cool, bro. Something wrong with y'all niggas, for real. And on top of that, bro, my hair was so thick to the point where when I used to take my rubber band out my head, bro, my dreads used to just stick up, bro, like a super saiyan, bro. Look at me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, that junk used to get me upset, bro. Even when they got long, bro, they always used to just stick up by themselves. And another thing, bro, please, 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 please take care of y'all scalp. Please take care of y'all scalp. Make sure y'all putting oil in it from time to time, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's getting enough water, bro. When I was not taking care of my scalp with my hair, bro, it was bad, bro. My hair used to get irritated. My scalp used to get irritated, bro. It was just, it was just madness, bro. Because look at this retwist right here. Bro. Look how irritated and red my scalp is, bro. Like, it was so bad, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, you feel me, bro? Like, I could not sleep. My shit was just, it was just bothering me, bro. I only kept these in for like six days, you feel me? Like, I didn't even get no cut or anything. That's how bad my hair was bothering me. So please make sure y'all taking care of y'all scalp, bro. Yeah, I had took them out quick, bro. I ain't gonna lie, after like six days. You and y'all know, bro, them twist outs are supposed to be way wavier than how it looks right here, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't keep them in for long because, you know what I'm saying, it was just bothering me. But them twist outs used to be freaking amazing. But yeah, this is me right here, you feel me? Trying out that new style, bro. That two pigtail shit, bro. I used to love that style too, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. But yeah, bro, I used to love putting my hair up with that one dread down, bro, in the front wall. Bro, that was my, ooh, that was my bread and butter, fam. Like, I used to love doing that, bro. But yeah, look at me and my cousin, man. Oh my gosh, he's such a, he's such a good fucking guy, man. I'm so beautiful, bro. Like, I really, I really am that guy, bro. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see how fresh I am, bro? Y'all see the Polaroid, bro? Y'all see how, how good I look right here, bro? Like, but yeah, this is where I washed my hair before my first two-strand twist, dog. Bro, them two-strand twists, y'all boys know already, bro. That junk go crazy. A lot, lady, she be doing her thing, bro. She be doing her thing, bro. Cause my, yo, I feel like that guy with these in my head, bro. Like, bruh, y'all don't understand, bro. These damn two-strand twists were amazing. And these weren't even the ones with the part in the middle, bro. You feel me? This was just regular. I told her to just do it like regular how I wanted. That's how I wanted them. You feel me? Just look and appreciate at how beautifully parted these are, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, my junk was looking wild, bro. And she always used to get me right. And this one I got to cut right before Tally, bro. Right before Tally. Right before, you feel me, the last video. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't watched it already, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I was looking fresher than a
Them two strand twists went crazy every time. But yeah, bro, this was a twist out, and bro, this twist out, woo! A wavy, curly, kinky look, bro. Bro, that's when the hoes be on your. This jump made me feel so beautiful, bro. Like, it was so hard, bro. Like, I used to just love shaking my head all the time. If I got a chance to shake my head, I was shaking it. But yeah, this is me with a bonnet on, you know what I'm saying? Gotta stay protected at all times. Feel me? At a certain point in time, bro, it's gonna get back to its natural state, you feel me? So that's where it was getting to at that point. Then I had got another retwist, you feel me? About like two, three months later, you feel me? For my birthday, got the middle part, you know what I'm saying? If y'all get dressed, bro, I suggest y'all get a middle part, bro. Please get a middle part. Don't be like me, bro. When that junk is in your face, bro, you're not gonna like it, bro. At least I didn't, bro. When the shorties can't see your face, bro, and it's covering your face, especially if your face car good like mine, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel some type of way after a while, bro, which I did, bro, because I felt like, bro, I was just hiding behind my hair you just felt like i was hiding behind my hair like it was a damn mop in front of my face but yo that shit used to hurt bro the retwist used to hurt like hell oh! like this lady's digging in my scalp bro she knew what she was doing but like bro i have a sensitive scalp bro that shit used to hurt so bad that's the one thing i do not miss is the pain mm -hmm. Boy, chill to the gym, boy. I never used to get a haircut, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I used to get a lineup whenever I felt like it, honestly, bro. At this point, you feel me? My hair is getting long and stuff, but like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm starting to not like it at this point because I just look, I just like a hoodlum, bro. I don't look as clean as I'm supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Even though I take good care of myself. But yeah, this is when I went to the studio, you feel me, to record my song, my music video and all that. I was fucking with it. I was, I was fucking with it, but it's like, I wanted something new, bro. I felt like, bro, with locks, bro, you can't do as much as if you just had a fro and you wanted to get braids, you feel me? Wanted to get two, regular two strand twists. I felt like I was a little restricted, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So I, I was getting a little tired of them, but I was like, bro, I'm already here. I might as well just grow them out, you feel me? Y'all see spring break before I got my retwist, bro? I was outside with them two little shits in my head, bro. Right here is where I got my last retwist, bro. Miami spring break bro y'all seen the vlog fam but yeah that was my last retwist i believe you feel me so once i got them barrel rolls bro i really cherished the hell out of them i was looking so clean bro i had got my taper and all that bro like only downside is bro they freaking drag your scalp bro i ain't even gonna lie like my my forehead be getting stretched out and I already got a big ass head, bro. So it just made my head look 10 times bigger. Also, since my hair was so thick, I could never wear hats at all, bro. All my hats were like size 10, bro. And if I wear it, I have to wear it from the back. Damn, bro, this was a fire, bro. It was so fire, bro. Miami was so lit, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. And let me tell y'all, that same week, I literally jumped inside the pool with that style in my head, bro. And I was Gucci, bro. Like, it looked it fresh like it wasn't even touched bro get y'all somebody that knows how to do hair for real bro because my hair lady bro respectfully bro she's the goat but yeah this is like my last twist out i believe bro them barrel twists bro if you keep them in for a good long time bro you gonna get that wavy look bro it's gonna look so good bro i'm telling y'all but yeah i'm thinking my hair is super long at this point bro i ain't even gonna lie bro like you feel me my shit's hanging i got that hang time yeah bro at this point bro my hair was just getting too thick bro i was just getting tired of it you know what i'm saying it was time for a change at that point so fast forward to june this is like the last video i took with my hair you know what i'm saying so y'all see you feel me my shit is past my eye you know what i'm saying it's touching my nose feel me damn near touching my lip for real bro and this is the last picture i took bro i was looking so dusty i ain't even gonna lie this is the last picture i took on my hair next thing you know boop, you feel me nigga just did the bit chop bro but uh, at this point bro i was just like Bro, I'm tired of this, bro, because everybody want to look the same. It's a trend now, bro, at this point, bro, and everybody got them. So I'm like, bro, I need, I need to stand out, bro. Do not let your hair define your character. And I say that because it's a lot of motherfuckers out here on TikTok. It's a lot of motherfuckers out here on Instagram that motherfucking think having dreads is a, a, a personality, fam. It's not, bro. It's literally just hair. Don't make it more than what it is, you feel me? And be yourself, bro. If y'all don't like locks, bro, but y'all doing them because everybody else doing them, then I don't know what to tell you, bro. You feel me? It's not wrong with participating in trends, you feel me? If you want to. If you really like them and you like how they look, you know what I'm saying? Get them. You feel me? 
Because at the end of the day, it's up to you, bro. Y'all just got to be yourself. And I just felt like I forgot where I left off, but you feel me? Like I was saying, bro, it's nothing wrong with change. You feel me? Um, I like my new haircut. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you feel me? I like my new look. I think I look beautiful. I think I look sexy with this, feel me, low cut, you know what I'm saying? I can't be like everybody else running around here, feel me, with long hair and all that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to get to a point, like, bro, just like my cousin said, bro, he said it's going to get to a point where everybody's going to want to look the same, bro. I think, I think that's a stretch just a little bit, but I feel where he's coming from, bro, because... At the end of the day, bro, I'm me, you feel me? And I represent myself, bro. My hair does not make me. Don't let y'all hair make y'all, you feel me? Like, bro, just be yourself, you feel me? And this is me, bro. Like, this is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video. I just want to let y'all know, like, why I cut my hair and give y'all an idea why. And if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you so, 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 so much. If you love your mother, man, Drop a like on this video, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button while you at it as well. If this video gets 50 likes, bro, 50 likes, bro, I will reattach my locks, bro. I promise y'all that, bro. It's going to be a good video, bro. So if y'all want to see that, you know what I'm saying, happen, bro, I, I need that 50, bro. And as always, I'm out. Wave check, wave check, oops. Ooh, ooh.